Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I make cinematic commercials using Unreal Engine 5. Special thanks to Hekla TV for the project, it was a lot of fun to create. We'll break it down in six main steps. First is the ID and the reference. Building the 3D model, rigging the car, setting up the environment and lighting, creating animations and camera angles, and finally the edit. I usually start with reference. This could be photography, concept art, or in this case I even use my own projects as a reference for the visuals. You could also look at real footage from other commercials just to give you some inspiration for the look and feel of the scene. The goal is to have the visual direction early on. You'd be surprised how many details in the reference shots help you out. Once I have the direction, I map out the 3D model from scratch. I took as many pictures as possible from the real truck. For this one, both exterior and interior needed to be as detailed as possible because in the final scenes, I will get really close with the camera. I always start with basic shapes and then refine it more and more. Even the smallest details that nobody's gonna notice, it really adds up when you see the final image. Then I made sure all the moving parts are in the correct orientation for the animation later on. Next is rigging. Rigging is essential for vehicles because we have wheels, suspension, steering, all these parts need to have the right motion in place. Otherwise it will look fake and stiff and that's not what we want. With a proper rig, you can make it feel so dynamic and believable. For this I used a handy plugin from Post Processed. He has some really good tutorials on that, so I will leave it down in the description. Now the environment. This is where everything will start to come alive. First, I block out the main landscape that will be visible on camera. Then for the road, I used the spline tool to make all the turns. And then I added the road mesh on the spline. Then I used the foliage tool to paint all the trees on top of the landscape, along with some grass and even flowers. I also added some rocks and puddles on the road, just for that extra detail and for the reflections. After that, I made sure I applied all the textures onto the 3D models. As you can see here, I used Fab's library for all my assets and even CG Trader for some 3D objects. And that's what I used for all my projects. Lighting changes everything, so I played around a lot just to get the desired look I wanted. I added a simple 360 HDRI and there we go. Light rays, fog, atmosphere, all these things add so much more to your scene. I also added a second environment with some buildings just so we have some variation in the final edit. With the environment ready, it's time for animations and digital cameras. I use Unreal's sequencer to choreograph every shot just like a movie set. Wide establishing shots, close-ups, tracking shots. Here I also look at real life footage just to see all the imperfections a real camera gives you. We attach the rig on a rail controlled by a spline. Then after that, we can move the cameras around to get the angle we needed. I also add digital camera shake and jitters just to have that real life look. I rendered out all the shots in Lumen just because it's so much faster and no need to wait for those long render times. When working with tight deadlines, Unreal Engine 5 is the way to go for projects like this. Finally, I bring everything over into DaVinci Resolve for the final grading, sound effects and the pacing of the edit. This is what transforms the raw renders into a really polished commercial. And here is the final edit. If you want to learn more about CGI and visual effects, then you're at the right place because that's all we do inside the visual effects room. 
I made this community to connect people together and help each other out for projects and learning editing techniques and visual effects in general. It's only for one coffee a month, so check it out in the link in the description. Keep creating, keep experimenting, and see you on the next one. Peace.